Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. And I'm doing a video on sleeping bags. Specifically bags that you can zip together, where you have a right and a left. And the reason I'm doing that is because a normal bag has X number of cubic feet in it, or inches. And when you zip them together, you can do the math on it, and I'm going to do a video on that. I've done videos on this before, but... When you do zip two bags together, you have about four times the volume. So I thought about a way to graphically demonstrate that. So what you have in front of you is two bags zipped together. Now, granted, it's more uppy downy than side to side. You know, you're not going to pile people in there like that. But it gets the point across that there's more room in the double bag. So we're going to count the balloons as I pull them out. Well, I may count them and lay them out in the free video because I don't have anybody here to help me. And I do not have a tripod. Anything to hold my camera, which really sucks, but oh well. Okay, so I had gotten these off of Amazon, not eBay. And I got an email saying I can only send one bag. And I thought, oh, bummer, I wanted two zipped together a pair. So when they, when I got the, when the order came in, there were two bags. So I was like, okay, cool. What I ordered, I don't care. I didn't check into it. But then I was talking to somebody, I thought, I wonder if those are both... Right, if ones are left and ones are right, or if they're both the same, well, they're both left. Left zipper, left zipper. Oh, come on. Left zipper. These are Scorpion 45 degrees. They're, they're lightweight bags, very true. But um, what I did was I got balloons, 17 inch heavy balloons capable of holding helium. 50 of them, I figured. If I could get 10 or 12 in one bag, and then I should be able to get 48 in the other bag, that was, that was my thinking. It didn't work out that way, but we're going to count them. And I got a pump. You got to pump them really fast before they deflate with that thing. It pumps both up and down strokes. Uh, these things came with fabulous little stuff sacks. I mean stuff sacks. Heavy, I'd say military-grade stuff sacks. They got four buckles to pinch them down, compress them. Just amazing. Watching instructions, additional information, you know, how to handle them. <clears throat> and this is ledgeoutdoors.com, ledge sports. And I highly recommend them. Or bags, they do a lot of different types of bags. They do large square ones, uh, not mummy bags, and I really like those. I got two, I had got two set pairs of those, and they're huge and heavy. I gave the one pair to my grandson to go and camping in Colorado. So, 84 by 32 by 20 on these. The 20 indicates the foot box, what they call foot box. Hibernate Extreme is the filling. Lining is Soft Tech 2, 210T fiber. Probably 210 threads per square inch, I don't know. Fill weight, 1.5 pound, that's very light. Pack weight, 1.9 pounds, that's very light. So they're not made for, you know, winter, they're made for lightweight backpacking and camping uncompressed 12 inches by 6 inches and they that's about what they are and I could have compressed them down I got to figure out how to get them back in the bags you can stuff them in I'm going to try that with one of them and I'll probably they folded them uh, in half widthwise and then they folded them half lengthwise and then they rolled them up so I'm going to do that be a happy camper High insulation R value sleeping bags are always recommended, obviously. Use an appropriate size sleeping bag for your dimensions. Don't buy a bag too small for your body. <laughs> Eating before bed and snacking stokes the digestion furnace, that's good. Yeah, eat before and, and warm up before a fire, hot drink, eat a hot meal, then go to sleep. I'm serious, get in your bag the minute you're done eating and get staying warm. A short burst of exercise will speed heat the sleeping bag, but don't sweat. So... Wear layers that are breathable and allow heat out to the sleeping bag. Whatever. I don't agree with that one. I, I've camped in the cold in Rockies, and I don't know. And Bill's the same way. He, he camped in Alaska. We both um, wear the same sleeping outfit. Us pajamas and nightwear, shall we say. A sleeping bag doesn't create heat. It is built to perform and retain it. Okay. So that's one thing I noticed. When I got into a bag and I had clothes on, it would take a long time to warm up. 
And if I got in when I was didn't have any clothes on, you know, just bare skin, man, you heat up instantly. So I took to heating up instantly. I liked it. Anyway, you do whatever you want, but I wouldn't wear a lot of clothes to bed. Just you take a chance on damaging the thing. And anyway, ledgeoutdoors.com, www.ledgeoutdoors.com, from West Jordan, Utah. And I really like them. I mean, I I, I like them enough that I wrote them a long letter on their Facebook page, and then I called them up and. I was able to talk to the CEO, somebody in charge anyway. Had a really good talk with him. He had already read my letter. It was the day after I wrote it, and he had already read it. Very good. I just um, I told him, encourage him to stay in business, keep going, keep selling them, keep up the good work, because there's going to be a lot of people needing them. They use YKK's locking zipper. See that on the right, second from the bottom. YKK, that's, if you don't, if you buy something that doesn't have YKK zipper, I'd say don't buy it, but I do buy things that don't, but I mean, if you buy something that has a YKK zipper, that means they want, they're interested in using the best quality material. And if they don't use YKK zippers, then they're not interested in quality. And you may question whether you want to buy it or not. Anti-crawl zipper stops. Equal depth foot box. Water resistant. T8 compression check included. Yeah, the compression checks are phenomenal. Sink wall element drawstring enclosure, yeah. Barrel locks, thermal shield, contour adjustable hood, full length zipper, external pocket. It's not a full length zipper, they're lying. <coughs> it goes down within about a foot and a half of the bottom. Full length of the, not three quarter, but there's not full length. I, I wouldn't qualify them as full length. Sorry, I disagree. Anyway, the model is Scorpion 45 degree bag. Let's look at that label. 84 by 32 by 20. GTX Micro Dobby Diamond Ripstop. That's the outdoor fabric. The shell. The lining is Softec 2 210T fabric. Fill hibernatic same. Fill weight 1.5 pound. Pack weight 1.9. Uncompressed 12 pounds. Okay, we already did that. That's the same thing I just read on the other one. Maybe I already read that one. I don't know. Okay, so I already read it. Sorry. That's a, that's, every good teacher repeats themselves. <laughs> and the old preacher said, I tells them and then I tells them. I tell them what I'm going to tell them, then I tell them, then I tell them what I told them. Okay. So here we go. I don't know if I can prop this phone up. I wish I could. I'll see. Maybe I'll pause this and see if I can handle that. 